Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Novak. What you're looking at is a sump that has a uh, BCB bags in it. 7x4x4 by four by four in size. And there are four of them on the left hand side. On the right hand side, side you are looking at uh, Martin Van Hagel's uh, aquarium which is an African cichlid aquarium. Inside the aquarium it's 125 gallons and he uh, I think he has seven fish anywhere between four to nine inches or eleven fish I'm sorry eleven fish four to nine inches. The sump is a uh, 29 gallon sump. Now every week he would do a weekly water change and the weekly water change would consist of 50 to 75 percent of his water. And uh, he's got it written here, just 50, but it, he states in an uh, email to me that he did a 50 or 75% water change. Uh, I used to clean the glass, he states, once per week, but it can now go for three weeks now with almost no algae growth on it. Let's see uh, what else he has to say. The graph... The graph indicates nitrates with TDS, and according to what he's got here, it looks like it could be 10 parts per million uh, nitrates from 310 to 320, and he's adding that onto his TDS. He also has an ORP that, uh, after adding the bags, kept climbing. It looks like before the bags were added, the ORP was about 270, but after the bags were added, as we could see uh, from day one, within five days, it stayed stable, and then after that, the ORP began to rise, as we could see from his graph, and kept rising since then. Now, this isn't just because of water changes alone, because as we know, I have shown in my videos that just because you do a water change does not necessarily mean you are going to have a high ORP, oxygen readout potential, which means you have more oxidizers into your aquarium that can oxidize fish waste and uh, leaves breaking down, but basically the pollution that's being made in the aquarium. The more oxidizers you have, the more easily it can be taken care of. And as we can see by the graph, as the BCB bags begin to mature, his redox keeps going up. And that's a good thing, that they're maturing. But about at day 50, he states that he noticed that the TDS and the nitrates begin to fall. And he suspects that nitrates have fallen down all the way to like five parts per million, which uh, it kind of looks that way where you could see by his graph that the nitrates are falling down. So he sent me this and I thought I would show everybody what he's, uh, what he's doing. He, he thinks that if he continued with the 50% water changes, his ORP would have kept going up. But according to the graph, he already made the BCB bags, and he was at 270. So if he would have kept with the 50% water changes, maybe the, B, the ORP would have went up. But however, what would have went up if he didn't have the BCB bags and was running in his aquarium without the help of the anoxic filter? And, of course, these are some of his uh, African cichlids that he's using. He plans on adding more of the bags to his sump, his 29-gallon sump that I showed you in the previous uh, photograph. We also must remember, as we're looking at this aquarium, he is not using a plenum. He just has a sand at the very bottom of the aquarium. This this can cause a few problems, twofold. One is, can oxygen get in there? Two, is it creating nitrates because it is laying on the bottom? 
and can chemical and biological pathways remain open unless he constantly is stirring it up like I showed in another video like the uh, aquarium the Florida Aquarium says how they have to keep stirring up the substrate at least four times a week now I wanted to show you this 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 is recently posted by an individual who two days ago just posted this on YouTube and I thought I would show you the graph that he says is the nitrogen cycle. This is an outdated graph. It says nitrates reduced by plants, algae, water changes, and this outdated graph is not the nitrogen cycle in its entirety. This is what they thought the nitrogen cycle was, but it is not the nitrogen cycle that we know. Plants can only reduce nitrates if there is no ammonia, and they can only reduce nitrates during peak photosynthesis and if they're photosynthesizing at 100%. Because reducing nitrates back into ammonia for food, their amino acids and proteins, takes a lot of energy. And therefore, the plant has to be running at 100% efficiency. This is where hobbyists run into problems because if their plants aren't doing very well for some reason, for some godforsaken reason, and we don't know why, uh, they won't be consuming the nitrates like we thought they were. So therefore the nitrates keep building up until, of course, you do a water change. Of course, this chart right here shows the nitrogen cycle the way it's supposed to run. It's not supposed to be dependent upon plants or water changes or algae. It is supposed to be dependent upon bacteria. This is the way natural systems, the ones that uh, Mother Nature are responsible for, this is the way they do the nitrogen cycle. We have a lot of lakes and ponds here in Florida that have no plant life in them, and yet the nitrogen cycle is being completed. Unlike the nitrogen cycle you see here, where he, key, where he tells everybody this, is this his fault? Well, it's about time hobbyists learn the truth about the nitrogen cycle, and this is the way it really should run, and this is the way it really is in natural systems. Yet in our aquariums, we insist that water changes and plants and algae are the only way to take care of nitrates, and it is not. We need a more uh, dependable way of eliminating nitrates and phosphates in our aquarium the way natural systems do, and for any reason at all, that could be thrown out of balance. And like I said, here is his latest posting here, his video and look within two days he has 10,000 views on it so he's a dealer he has a lot of people watching this and so a lot of people are getting the wrong information I just wanted to bring that up anyhow I wanted to show you this aquarium what it's doing with the BCB bags how well it's doing I also wanted to thank the hobbyist uh, Martin for sending me pictures of his aquarium. I have other tanks and stuff I'm trying to get to make videos on to show everybody. But as we can see through his graphs and him keeping track of everything, that uh, his tank is doing very well and the BCB bags are doing what they're supposed to be doing for him. And he's very happy and he's even going to add more. So that's it for this video. Um, I want to thank you for watching and please subscribe. Until next time, happy fish keeping.